everybody, this is John Kieser, ChemistSource.com, the greatest window cleaning supplier on the planet. This is Waterfed Class on class on WCR, and this is going to be a little bit of a different episode in that you're not going to see anything to do with waterfed poles. Uh, we're going to be talking about screens. Um, um, when you do traditional methods with brush and a squeegee, a lot of guys will just pull the screen out, they'll clean it right there with the wand, dry it off with their towel and put it back. Well. If you're doing a two-story home or, or whatnot, you're not going to be up there. If you're doing it with a water-fed pole, you're not going to be up there on a ladder to pull the screen out. So the first thing you got to do is go in and pull the screens out. And some guys say that that's kind of an obstacle to doing water-fed pole with residents. But I've actually turned into an opportunity. Uh, whereas I used to just give a basic brush down of the screen and dry it off, now I offer uh, deluxe screen cleaning. And along with deluxe screen cleaning, I give a free rain guarantee on the window cleaning because if they've got clean screens, if it rains within three days, it's not going to spot the windows. So uh, you can turn a, a potential problem with water fed pole into an opportunity, a money making opportunity. So, um, but what I want to show you first is when after you've done the, uh, the windows with a water fed pole, some of you might go around the outside to reinstall the first four screens. That is the most time of, uh, effective way to do it. However, there's a little bit of a problem with that in that the bottom track where you put the screen in still got water in it. So when you snap that screen back into place, if you're not careful, if you snap it in there, that water in there is going to splash up on the screen. It's going to create spots on your window. So when you're putting that uh, screen back in, you've got to be very careful to make sure that you don't snap it into place, but rather set it in there and gently. And the way you do that is on the one side with the springs, you, you push on the side of the springs and you gently uh, put in the other side so that it doesn't snap into place. It goes like this. And I know I was in the way and you couldn't see it. But you just push on the spring and gently push in the other side of the screen. Then it doesn't snap into place. So uh, the other thing about this is if you're removing screens on the first floor, I've got a handy little tool for that. This is actually a paint can opener. And for less than a buck, you can pick these up at your favorite home store. Here's how you use this to get the screen out. Again, you push on the side with the spring. You put this in, and you just pull it out just like that. Big time saver, simple tool, inexpensive, very effective. Makes me lots of money. So now I've got the screen out, ready to clean. There's lots of ways to clean screens. Of course, we all know about the Screen Magic product. And uh, the way that I clean screens is not necessarily the best. It's just the best for me. Some of you do p power washing. Some of you do Screen Magic. What I do is I uh, use Tide with Bleach. Fill up a, uh, a bucket of water, hose the uh, screens down, and I, I scrub them down with a soft bristle brush, which I'll show you real quick. I've got a soft bristle brush that I put on the end of a pole. I've got Tide with Bleach in the solution. Tree soak the screens. on the top and bottom frames and make sure you get the side frames, turn it around and repeat. I generally do about three or four screens at a time and then rinse. You don't want to do too many because if they start to dry, they just won't look right after you rinse them. Rinse both sides.
After you're done rinsing, you got to be very careful on this step. Because if you do what I'm about to do, you do it too hard, you'll break these corner plastic pieces. Gently tap it on the pavement. That gets probably 90% of the water out, and then you just set it in the sun to dry. So that's my basic screen cleaning technique. Again, I'm not saying it's the best. It's just what works best for me. Uh, this has been uh, Waterfed Class on WCR. Thanks for watching.